Today, we'll be using this Panasonic tape recorder from the 80s to store and retrieve images from this ordinary audio cassette tape. If that sounds like something you might be interested in, stay tuned. Where does the USB go? I don't see it. Maybe this goes in here. Is that the right side? Hmm. So the first step to put in a picture on a cassette tape is to turn that picture into sound. We're going to do that with this program right here, the SSTV Signal Generator. SSTV stands for Slow Scan Television. And this is a, a way that people that run ham radios send pictures back and forth to one another through the radio waves. It turns the picture into sound. We will take this test pattern and turn it into a sound. We'll click generate. There's the test pattern as a sound. Okay guys, here's the computer with the test pattern sound on it. Sounds like this. That's quite unpleasant. Let's back that up. We're gonna go over here to the tape player. We're gonna plug this into the microphone input of the tape player. Then, over here to the headphone jack of the computer. Then we're going to take something that's kind of rare nowadays, brand new unrecorded TDK cassette, open it up, put it in here, it's already been advanced far enough that it's on the tape, now zero it out, we're going to press record. Then, we're going to come over here and play this. Now that sound is being recorded to this tape. Rewind this back to zero. And let's see if it's on the tape. I would say that's on the tape. So now, let's switch this over to the mic to the headphone output. Take this in. Place a stereo jack on it. Come over here to the interface. Plug it into the interface. Then we're going to jump back to the computer. Take another program like this RX SSTV which you use to decode the slow scan television and a lot of people have gotten these uh, images these slow scan images from even the space station they said here are two images that were sent from the International Space Station in the second image you can see some noise this is more typical of what one would usually expect from slow scan TV let's go ahead and see how clear of an image we can get from our cassette tape
gonna run a couple of more uh, files through this and we're gonna see if you can tell what they are when they come back around over here. That just about does it for this video. That's how you save pictures on an audio cassette. If you found this educational or entertaining in any way, please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Till next time.